Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, it is almost one o'clock. I'm home for lunch right now. Um, just made a coffee. I had a sandwich with some potato salad for lunch, but I made um, a coffee just because I felt like having one today. Um, it's Tuesday, so we had Bible study this morning and then worked for a little while and um, go back to work. And then this afternoon, I'm actually gonna give a keyboard lesson um, Kind of like a last minute thing. I didn't know I was going to be doing that, but I'm really excited to do that. I mean, I've been kind of like, we've been planning on doing it, but I just didn't know it was going to be today. So, um, kind of get some stuff ready for that. First lesson, usually I do kind of the same thing with everybody. So, um, it'll be the first lesson for this person. So, not a huge, really not a huge thing to plan for today because it's, um, just a general thing for everyone. But anyway, um, I really need to clean the house. I, I didn't really do a lot while my parents were here. I mean, my mom cleans like crazy. She always leaves everything better than it was when she got here. Like her room and bathroom and everything are like literally immaculately clean <laughs> right now. So um, she always does so good with that, which she doesn't have to do because she's a guest. So she doesn't really need to clean, but she always does. But like, as far as like our clothes, like she did laundry for us while she was here um, because truly I didn't do anything. It was like, I don't know. To me, like, I like for things to be clean, and I like, you know, I told you guys before, when it's messy, I do get more anxiety. That doesn't mean that it's never messy. It just means that when it is, I get anxiety. So, right now, it's um kind of messy, and, you know, I don't, it just kind of, like, triggers some anxiety in me. Even if I don't realize that that's what it is, I'm just less calm. Um, even if I don't realize that's the reason, I mean, I'm just kind of, like, less calm when things are messy, and I notice a huge difference when they're, when it's not. Not to say I like have to have it perfect, but like right now we have clothes in our bedroom that I've been needing to fold. Um, and I didn't because, I don't know, I don't really want to take the time. Like when my parents are visiting, I just really am like obsessed with like, I get up, usually try to get up a little bit earlier and like I don't want to sleep in at all because I don't want to miss that time with them. And like I just really kind of get crazy about it. So, you know, because we don't get that much time. Um, so like with the clothes, it was like the last thing I want to do is sit here and fold clothes. Like things like that are not really that important to me. Um, I'm not like super crazy about like, okay, this has to be in this spot or whatever. I just like it to be, you know, picked up and clean. So that's what I'm going to do today. Still loving my hair. I am so thankful that I got it done. I'm so glad that, um, it's done because I feel so much better. I actually haven't washed it since I got it done. That's one thing, when I get my hair done, like if it's bleached or colored or just anything like that done to it, um, which this time it was it was bleached, pretty high volume bleach, um, it doesn't need to be washed for a while after that. It's not dry or anything, I mean, bleach really doesn't do anything bad to my hair. I just, my hair is just really coarse and I have a different kind of hair texture and it just doesn't affect it like it does for some people, which is good, but at the same time, my hair is just kind of naturally coarse and dry anyway. So I don't have to wash it as often as a lot of people do already. And then when I get it bleached, it's just like that like refreshes it and it doesn't get dirty for a while after that. Um, it's almost like that like cleanses, I don't know, like takes a built up product. I don't know what it is, but it really doesn't need to be washed for a while. So I haven't washed it yet, um, which hasn't been that long. I guess usually I wash my hair usually like no joke, like every like four or five days. That probably sounds like a long time to some people, but um it just doesn't, it's just my hair. It just doesn't get dirty um, really very easily at all. I don't know if anybody remembers Love Spell from Victoria's Secret, the like body spray that they had. They might still have it. I don't think they do. They didn't last time I checked, but they might might have come out with it again, or I'm really not sure. I don't go there very often, but this um, wax cube, like sensational wax cubes, these smell just like Love Spell, like absolutely identical to the Victoria. <laughs> to the Victoria's Secret Love Spell body spray. My mom, my mom said the same thing. It's like crazy how much they smell like. So if you liked that, try it out. Manny says it smells like toilet cleaner. It doesn't smell like toilet cleaner at all. It smells really good. When I was younger, all like every girl ever, I don't know who's like this where everybody was or what, but in my area in Indiana, every girl wore Love Spell. <laughs> like everybody did. I actually never had it. I had a different one, but um, Anyway, everybody liked it and it does smell really good, but this is exactly what it smells like. And it's called Magic Spell. So I don't know if they're trying to like copy it or what, but I have it in the Scentsy right now or the Scentsy Warmer, Scentsy Pot, whatever it's called. 
Sensi pot? Is that what it's called? No, I'm thinking like neti pot. Sensi. What is the word? Sensi warmer? I got that the other day at Walmart. I don't know why Manny thinks it smells like toilet cleaner because it doesn't. Well, it actually does. It doesn't. It actually smells like a men's public toilet. <laughs> I don't think so at all, but Manny's working on some t-shirts right now. Order from our shop. <laughs> our Etsy shop is linked below. Make sure you place an order. We do sales on there and stuff too, so check it out. But anyway, he's working on one right now. A little sneak peek. And uh, Rose has offered, uh, she's going to pray for us just to open up uh, our time together. And um, we'll go from there. So Rose, go ahead. All right. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. God, we just thank you for this morning, Father. You are so good. God, we thank you for this time that we have together. God, I thank you for Worship Workspace and everything that it's doing important to us, Father. We thank you for Meredith today. God, we ask you to just give her the words to say and speak into us, God, that you bless her, bless her family, God, and bless us today as we um, have this time together. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, Meredith, you can take it away. Uh, does anyone, real quick, does anyone have any questions about Zoom? Great. Okay. We have some questions. Rose, you can unmute. What's your question for Meredith? All right. Well, thank you so much, Meredith, for this. It's been so good, so spot on for me. Um, you mentioned identity, which um, I love because I'm actually working on a teaching on that myself. So I've been just had that on my heart. So I'm so glad you mentioned that. Um, so kind of to go back to that for a minute, um, I have some young leaders that are under me that I'm kind of working with, training right now. Um, what would be your advice for effectively pouring into these younger leaders that may be struggling with that issue of identity right now? Teaching them how to discern the truth over the lies. Because, mm -hmm. you know, what I see in, um, in teenagers these days and uh, millennial kind of generation is... Um, there is so much pressure to look a certain way, be a certain way, have this persona, if you will. And, um, I think just ingraining in them repetitively, who does God say that you are? And go to the Word and find scriptures that oh, you know, uh, describe what God says about us, whether you know, fearfully and wonderfully made, or chosen priesthood or royal nation or co-heirs with Christ, you know, all of these things, like this is what God says about you. But I think it, it is seriously, Rose, like just teaching them, hey guys, we're going to have this time together. We're going to sit down. I'm, here's a piece of paper and a pencil. And I want you to sit with the Lord for five minutes. And I want you to go, or 10 minutes, whatever. And I want you to ask him what he sees when he, when he looks at you. It's what God says about you. That is who you are. That is your identity. So, um, yeah. Wow, so good. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. All right, so we're home from work. Um, we have been for a while, actually. Um, we got home and kind of had some time to relax a little bit. Um, we've been coming home a little bit earlier on Wednesdays um, because we were, like, our schedule has changed a little bit on Wednesdays. So we've been coming home just a little earlier and kind of spending more time at home before we have to go back for service. And that's been really nice. Um, and to be able to do that because we can actually like eat something and um, just kind of chill. So we really appreciate that we're able to do that. But um, anyway, I want to show you guys kind of what I'm wearing today. I got this uh, from TJ Maxx. I tried it on in my little try on portion of the last vlog. Um, I got it in a size smaller than I had on in that part of the vlog. It was a little bit too big. That was a medium that I tried on in the last vlog and this is a small. Um, usually I'm a medium if not a large so it definitely runs big but it's from Zara. Um, and it's like a tunic dress thing. I'm wearing it with leggings. I would always wear it with something, um, leggings or jeans or something. So yeah, that's kind of what I am wearing. Maybe I'll show you in the bathroom. Okay, so my camera died, <laughs> so I have it plugged in. But it looks like this um, has like this picture of a girl on it. I don't know, I think it's really cute. It's different, I like different. I'm just wearing black leggings. And then um, these shoes, they like matched it perfectly. Like, like mat I don't like matchy matchy but it has that purple color in it um so they look cute with it and then I have this purple lipstick on it's like the exact same literally the exact same color as that so I like that it has this like choker detail again it's from Zara and the back is just like white I really like that so anyways um I'm gonna go ahead I think and end this vlog really quickly and head on to church so thank you guys for watching remember you are incredible Jesus loves you I'll see you guys later bye guys